Welcome to Bears in Excel. Today is November 17th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. Well, we had a, a pretty good day today. Um, at its lowest, we had a really good day today, but um, let's take a look, shall we? We got the cross of the middle Bollinger Band line above the short-term moving averages once again, opening up the door for some down movement. And, uh, you know, at its height today, we were over 200 points to the downside, roughly. Um, we have the short-term moving averages all pointing down. We have the uh, long-term moving averages flattening out. And what else do we have? Well, it's not a hammer. It has a big tail on it. It has a little tiny tail on the top of it. It is a nothing really to speak about candle except that it's big and it's red <laughs> and uh, what else can we see from today's action well CCI getting too oversold stochastics are pointing down RSI is pointing down MACD pointing down histogram going down and all important 14 day RSI moving average pointing down so this is good we we said back here we were looking for the hook we did get the hook and so far so good it hasn't been in a straight line and it never will be but uh, that is the action of the candlesticks themselves now we have some encouraging and caution with the uh, candlesticks today first off we exceeded the uh, real body of this previous low that is good that is bearish um, we did get almost almost to the previous low uh, but backed away from it at the end of the day in a uh, quite dramatic fashion, actually. Um, so, even though we have a big red bar after uh, getting below the 200-day moving average, uh, it could have been much stronger. If it had closed at the lows of the day, ho oh, ho, that would have been fabulous. But uh, we get what we get, and uh, they are trying to rebound this before it turns into a rout. And uh, certainly if we break this lower... Uh, low it very well could be a route going on into some of the faster time frames just to get some uh, better picture of what's happening here's the 180 you can see the stochastic uh, I'm sorry the histogram is still clicking down along with the MACD you can see that the RSI is very low we can see that the stochastics are trying to turn over we still have room on the 14-day RSI moving average pointing to the downside, and we got a slight uptick at the end of the day on the CCI as people try to uh, grab what they think is the bottom. And, you know, maybe it is the bottom. 60-minute time frame. We, do, we did end with an uptick. Uptick gives us a target of 11.880. For a bubble corrective move and um, certainly we could get that and uh, this is the 60 minute time frame so you know four bars is not what it takes to get a, a bubble corrective move in that time frame but regardless that is entirely possible and uh, if it does want to do that it'll be very interesting to see what it does after that if there was if this was an over move or if uh, we have uh, more to go to the downside, which, according to the daily, says it's very probable that we will. Uh, I think 60 minutes is where I'm going to stop out on that. Um, do we have divergences in this 60 minute time frame? Um, no, doesn't really appear to be uh, positive divergences. We do have lower readings here at the end than we did back here on this previous so uh, it does look rather healthy to me at first glance SPX alright now we're getting into some good stuff not nearly as much of a tail as on the Dow you can also see that we have closed below and cleared the real body of this previous low and this previous low which hasn't been done till today um, however one little caveat Look at the tail, the little tiny stub on this uh, low back here. That's exactly where the real body today stopped. Yeah, it pierced it with our tail today, 
But regardless, uh, that is where it stopped. We need to get uh, below that, close below that, and uh, that'll be pretty good. It also would appear that we were attempting a test of the major price consensus level for this month. And it didn't quite get there, and it backed away from it. But uh, regardless, not a bad showing. Not a bad showing at all. Um, down tick on CCI getting uh, oversold. Down tick on the stochastics. Down tick on the RSI. Down tick on the histogram. Down tick on the MACD. 14-day RSI moving average. All important indicator, as far as I'm concerned. I think it's very, very uh, accurate. Uh, pointing down. Uh, we do want to get out of the 80 area so that it can accelerate. Um, hopefully we'll get that over the next couple of days, but uh, we shall see exactly what happens. And uh, the 60 minute and 180 are gonna be very similar to the Dow, so no need to really uh, rehash that too much. We have a slight uptick on the 60 minute time frame. Uh, notice the stochastics possibly uh, actually are curling over. Along with the 14 day RSI moving average losing steam, uptick on the histogram, we could get a bubble corrective move in the 60 minute time frame round about just above 1230. So uh, entirely possible. We're going to have to wait and see. The VIX. Now here is a disappointment. And uh, this is encouraging for the bulls just because we have uh, such a long tail. And we did get above 36 today. It was very encouraging at the time as it looked like uh, we were going to exceed this uh, prior high. Uh, it did not occur. We got pushed way back. And we do need a test, a break of these two highs and a test of the upper price consensus level. We just, we need it. Um, didn't get it today. Uptick on the CCI, almost getting to overbought. Uptick on the stochastics. Uptick on the 14-day RSI moving average. Slight uptick in the RSI. Uptick on the histogram. Uptick on the MACD. So this does, indicator-wise, look very uh, promising. We still have the middle Bollinger Band line below the short-term moving averages. They are expanding as they break through the flatline bar. Um, we need to hold above the major price consensus level and um, we just really need to uh, take on that high. Not a pretty candle, not for, uh, not for the bears today. So uh, that is the market bears, not the VIX bears. Now, um, going right along, you know what, I'm gonna take a quick look at XOI oil, just because oil is so important to the bullish perspective. Uh, it is below the 200 day moving average. It has the middle Bollinger Band above the short term moving averages. I noticed on the way home that gas is $2.80 where I live. And uh, yeah, we've been conditioned to think that's not so bad. But uh, regardless, uh, we have a fat body spinning top on oil today. Um, it will be interesting to see if we can get complete crossover and separation prior to entering the bar with the short term moving averages. If we do, we should break through the bar. However, we do not have that currently and it remains to be seen if tomorrow, if we will. Uh, down tick on the CCI, down tick on the stochastics, down tick on the RSI, down tick on the MACD, MACD histogram, and the all important 14 day RSI moving average. Oh yeah. So this does not look too pretty, but if we are just coming in for a bar retest of the essentially flatline bar and then bounce off of it, um, very, very bad news for the market bears, but uh, still, have a chance and they're very close to this uh, previous low and very close to the major price consensus level you can see that it kissed it today and backed away moving right along to tna okay i took a uh, for fun trade today of a uh, put for december on tna it is a high risk trade and uh, very possible that it all get stopped out of it over the next day or two, but uh, we'll see. Nice big uh, fat body spinning top, middle Bollinger Band above the short term moving averages, uh, 14 day RSI moving average getting to the 80, and hopefully it will begin its descent in earnest. Uh, stochastics pointing down, CCI pointing down, RSI pointing down, histogram down, 
MACD down. Not attractive. Um, but just like the Dow, just like the SPX, uh, the intraday time frames like the 60 minute here, uh, you can see the stochastics trying to uh, curl on over along with the RSI and the MACD histogram and the CCI. Uh, looking for some kind of a little recovery bounce. Hopefully it will not be too large. Um, notice on TNA we do not have an uptick yet. So that is different than uh, Dow and SPX. Although even without the downtick, I mean, sorry, the uptick, you can see that we have some excessive separation here. So getting a little intraday bounce or one day bounce or whatever to reset itself, not a big deal. But um, the daily, even though when you don't blow it all up, I mean, it is a double flat line essentially, but uh, when you do get in for closer detail, it does look bearish. So um, we shall see. Tomorrow will be very interesting. Which, by the way, is OPEX, and we should expect some shenanigans. Absolutely, OPEX. Um, UUP. Here we go. We have a um, very pretty, actually, uh, middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages. Still, we do have some excessive separation, but it is fairly uniform in its uh, ascent. Not too much wobble as of yet. Um, it isn't quite a spinning top. The little stubs could be bigger, but regardless, nice big green candle. It is uh, engulfing the absolute lack of a uh, real body from yesterday cci very high kind of uh petering out it looks like stochastics very high 14 the rsi moving average all kinds of room to move to the upside rsi getting a, a side tick in overbought territory uptick on the histogram uptick on the macd so even though some of the indicators look uh like they could be pretty toppy it doesn't mean that they're going to have a sharp reversal and just head on back down they could stay there for a little while, maybe stay there for uh, a week. Um, that could be enough to get the 14-day RSI up to a decent level before it rolls over. But regardless, the short-term moving averages all pointing up. Very bullish looking. So, um, very nice. Oh, you know what? I didn't even bother to uh, point out. What was I going to point out? I don't know what I was going to point out. I guess the uh, thought just, uh, maybe it'll come back to me. <laughs> okay, I'll just move on to FXE. Um, short-term moving average is all pointing down. We do have some ex excessive separation. Middle Bollinger Band above the short-term moving averages. Uh, we are below the lower price consensus level for this month and the previous month. We have a fat body spinning top. I guess I'll just call it that. Even though the uh, stubs could be a little bit larger, we are bearish engulfing the real body of the Gravestone Doji from yesterday. 14 day RSI moving average getting out of overbought and pointing down. Stochastics low. CCI actually a little uptick. Side tick on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, down tick on the MACD. Uh, this is very bearish looking. Very bearish looking. Um, not too shabby. Now, just for fun. What does the 60 minute look like? Well, we can see that uh, we have an established bearish bar and the uh, short term moving averages are still pointing down. No real uh, danger um, in the moving averages. Uh, the middle Bollinger Band is inside slightly the short term moving averages. It would be better if it was uh, above them completely, but uh, it's not. Slide uptick on the CCI, 14 day RSI moving average, and stochastics meeting up right at the uh, oversold line. Uptick on the RSI, slight downtick on the histogram, and flatlining in the uh, MACD. So, even though we do appear to be quite low in the 60 minute time frame and could definitely uh, look for some kind of a relief bounce to reset this, this chart. It could also stay down here for a little bit, and that would be fine. We have no indication in the short-term moving averages as of yet that we need a bar retest. GLD. Oof. 
Look at that big ugly red candle. What is up with that? Well, yeah, it's a pretty ugly red candle. Down tick on the CCI, down tick on the stochastics. 14 day RSI moving average getting a slight down tick, possibly getting the rollover. If it uh, continues with the stochastics, then it would make sense. Down tick on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, getting the bearish cross on the MACD. So it certainly would appear that we are going to have a uh, bar retest as uh, we have exceeded the down tick and are continuing on our way. Um, very interesting. We're still above the upper price consensus level for this month. Um, going to have to see how well the uh, forming bullish bar is able to contain the price. Um, yeah. I still am of the opinion that when the VIX takes off in a really big way, if it does, that gold is going to benefit. But uh, I guess this is still liquidation of people covering things that are going down, I'm assuming. So, uh, but indicators say bearish. Candle says bearish. Moving averages say retest of the bar. Getting the cross of the mill bulger band above the short term moving averages. Not a good sign for the short term, but I do have confidence in gold in the longer term. And SLV. Oops, same thing as stinking gold. Actually, it's a little bit worse. We got below and closed below the major price consensus level and the lower price consensus level from the previous month just by a hair. Um, wow, CCI very, very low. 14 day RSI moving average getting the hook, down tick on the stochastic, down tick on the RSI, down tick on the MACD, bearish cross on the MAC, I'm sorry, bearish cross on the MACD, down tick on the MACD histogram. Oof. Our hopes that it would stay in the bar during its uh, reset would appear to be not a good, uh, not going to happen. So, um, that's really unfortunate. So if we do challenge and break the lower price consensus level, it's going to be all about the previous low here at uh, 2741. And just for fun, uh, look at uh, Rambus. We had said in the daily running thread yesterday, we were thinking maybe about, oh, you know what? It's not in my chart. So I can't show it anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, the euro is holding in uh, 1.34s at the moment. And um, still, this is a part of that overshoot that we were looking for. And hopefully we'll see the 1.33s or even the 1.32s. Um, at that point, I'll really be uh, wondering if it can go much further to the downside. Um, as always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Watch out for OPEX.